with the Young Entrepreneur Series, and I'm here today with Annie Rogers from Saddlebrook Studio, and we're gonna learn how she started her business. So Annie, thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome. All right, so the first thing, thing we wanna talk about is kind of how you got your start. Um, did you go to college or? Yes, I okay. did go to college. I went to Philadelphia University and majored in fashion design. Okay. And although fashion design has nothing to do with uh, creating portraits or what I'm doing now, the the classes I took um, and design basics, design concepts definitely apply to, to the arts and um, the overall composition of uh, my works. Okay. Now, how did you do post-graduation? How did you kind of get into the portraits? Did you start doing that right away or? Um, after graduation, I did some internships in the fashion design industry and actually um, I accepted a position as a design and sales consultant for an interiors company. Now, I had done portraiting since I was 16. At this company, my job was to design mainly kitchens and baths, put together uh, an entire room, and what I ended up doing for my clients was drawing out the entire room scene. Every tile and the cabinets and uh, found that that was where my passion lied, is actually rendering the, the designs for for my clients. Okay, so that's kind of how you got into the whole portrait thing. Then. Yeah, I um, I started to get um, commissioned for just doing these drawings at my oh, at wow. my work. Okay. And, um, it, you know, I've done portraits since I was 16, um, but the fact that I was at it uh, at my full time position and still being um, pulled into the whole drawing and artistic um, aspect of it. Um, led me to think that's where my passion lies and also I was in a position where I didn't have any huge obligations or huge responsibilities so um, at that point I thought it would be a great time to, to start this mm -hmm. um, this uh, job and um, journey and, business, and, and, yeah. of a, a business of yeah, running a business. Now how did you get this whole thing started? So you had the dream, you had the vision, now how did you kind of bring it all together? Before I actually started my business and made it official. While I was at my company, I started to save money. I also started to research what it would cost to start a company. My company is web-based, however, I do offer framing and matting as an add-on for the business. I priced out website developers and website designers, and the cost was extreme. It was about, they averaged about $200 an hour. I decided to use my resources around me and ask friends and family uh, if they could help me with this, with this uh, journey I was about to take. And my mother is in the IT department, so she was able to provide me with a website. And she was willing to take on and learn um, website development. And uh, she has done my website for me, and it turned out wonderful. Wow, okay. I worked with her um, on the designs I want and the features I want in my website, and it turned out really nice. Um, my father actually could help me with the framing and the matting, so he is a large part of the, the frame, my framing and matting that I provide my customers. Okay, so when people kind of want to, you know, use your services, what do they do? Do they send you a picture or do you go out and... Kind of how does your whole business work? The process behind the business is the client contacts me first with their idea idea, and the photograph that they would like to have turned into a piece of artwork. At that point, I study the photograph given to me. I call the client. I ask them details and expectations behind the portrait or the uh, landscape or location that I'm going to be drawing. I will give them back a, a price for the total job mm -hmm. um, along with the contract stating all of the details and everything that's going into it. Um, when they return the contract um, signed, um, I draw it out and however I, I decide the lead time you know, before, yeah. prior to giving them the contract how long it will take. And um, my goal is to, to return to them um, an original piece of artwork that can be timeless for them and, mm -hmm. and they can hang on their wall and it'll, um, it's meaningful and um, either most, most of my jobs actually happen to be weddings. Mm -hmm. um, the, mo the mother or the father of the bride will have the couple, I'll draw the couple for them so they give it as a wedding gift. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so um, 
And you said you do landscapes and everything else. Babies, I see. Animals, you know, all that. Yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. everything. Um, currently, I'm working on um, Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia. Oh, okay. It's a place where someone, um, a couple got engaged, and it's a very special spot. So That's I will, cool. I'll draw it, and I actually put, they asked me if I could actually put them in the picture, in the background. Oh, okay. So I'm able to do that, and then they have that original piece of artwork mm -hmm. um, forever. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so this is your business and it's booming and it sounds like you have a lot of clients that are asking for this. Now, what are your goals for the next five years or 10 years? Do you see your business growing and um, all that kind of stuff or what, what kind of goals do you have for the future? Um, as far as how long the business will go on, I plan on doing it forever. Mm -hmm. um, whether um, it turns into like a part-time extra money type uh, job or full-time, um, my dream at this moment is to expand it and create more avenues um, to go down. Like right now, I'm, I'm getting more, um, I'm taking on jobs with like illustrating for mm -hmm. corporate. I just did a job for a new perfume coming out and um, I had to do like their, kind of like their logo. Mm -hmm. um, so more of that, more, I'd like to actually take on more challenging works and create prints and sell prints. And mm -hmm. uh, at some point I would like to have a staff, but you know, it's it's all, there's, I'd like to put no boundaries on this mm -hmm. and, um, there's no project I'm not willing to take a look at and, and, and try and go yeah. after. Now in the average day, how long does it take you, you know, from start to finish at each day? How, how long do you work every day? Um, Saddlebrook Studio hours are from 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock um, every weekday. Mm -hmm. um, I work much longer than that. Right. Um, so I would say I get up around you know, eight or nine and, and work till about 10 o'clock. Wow. And then I do take weekends off because you, you can, have to, you have to, to, to come back fresh on, on Monday and, right. and still love it, you know? Right, right. Well, that's very cool. So it sounds like it's a lot of time, um, a lot of hard work. You know, I know you said you're cutting costs here and there, but kind of what's your business plan for this? Um, so you said you had to save a lot of money. Did you go to any financial institution to kind of um, ask them for help or did you do it all on your own or? Well, I did, I did not go to a, a financial institution. I did ask business owners mm -hmm. how much did they have saved before they started. Mm -hmm. I, I was very cautious. I did not act quickly. I took my time. Um, thinking back, I probably would have wanted to go to a, a financial institution and, mm -hmm. and, and get help there. Um, but I just saved as much as I could while I was working full time and went into it with a significant, significant amount mm -hmm. saved. So I always felt comfortable. You, you know, when you start a business, there's enough pressure as it is to, to get things up and running. Mm -hmm. You don't need the, the financial burden on your shoulders as well. Right, so you need to save a lot. <laughs> I do understand that, I do. All right, Annie, well thank you so much for your time. I know you're busy with your business and everything, but thank you very much. No problem. Thanks. Again, this is Allison for the Young Entrepreneur Series. If you want to check out Annie's work or if you have questions for her, you can check out the website at www.saddlebrookstudio.com. All right, talk to you soon. Thanks.